Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And last time, and we had some weird shit go on. Like, we found out that Woozy is blind, which is, uh, it was fun, because we actually got to see him run into a bunch of walls continually, even though he ended up getting in the way a lot, which was kind of a pain in the ass. And then we also had arguably probably the craziest head-on collision, well, not head-on collision, but I had probably one of the craziest collisions with a vehicle that I didn't instigate <laughs> ever so far, and it was awesome! So, that was pretty cool. But, you know, it, it took us a little bit of time to get used to that mission, and... Oh, oh another thing, too, is we also found out that I, I have enough money to go buy the missions from Zero, uh, but I think I'm gonna pass on it for right now, because I'm actually really having fun with these, uh, with these woozy missions right now, so I think we're gonna... We're gonna go knock out another one of those today, and hope to God that I don't get totally cremated going up this hill again. Because that's where that's where the magic happened last time, but it looks like we're gonna be good. Alright, let's let's see what we can do here. Boom! Oh. <laughs> if only if that would really suck if that were the only way that you could stop cars just by wrecking them into walls. Like, if they'd never thought of the idea of installing brakes into cars. That would fucking suck, man. Ranfali. Hmm, what are you eating? I think I want some. What's going down? Hey, CJ. Let me introduce you to Shukfu Ranfali. And could you please tell me what I'm eating? Because I cannot see it. <laughs> I thought that said Red Gecko Thong, actually. Ah Ah Kung has sent word from Kowloon. A Vietnamese crime family, the Da Nang Boys, are preparing to move to the United States. This may explain the cowardly attack on the Blood Feather Triad. <laughs> Carl's like, what the fuck are you talking about? There may be some trouble ahead. The Shi Fu would like a package retrieved. A courier has left it in a drop at the airport. It is most important to the matter at hand. Oh, I can do that. Who the fuck is this guy? Is this guy Tatsu from Ninja Turtles? Is this the guy that grunts all the time and doesn't speak? A personal friend of And less likely to draw the attention of the Danang boys. Oh, I thought that was going to be the one moment where he says something. Not quite. Thanks for your support. You can now go back to eating your uh, udon soup or whatever it is that you could be eating. I've actually never had udon soup before. What the hell? When did it get all Silent Hill out here? What the f I was only in there for just a couple of minutes. Why did that place just get all like crazy and like end of the world looking out here? I mean, like where? What happened to the you know ominous horn noise that sounds out here to let you know that hey, guess what? Everything that you knew about the world is about to change drastically and not in a good way. <laughs> in like the worst way you could imagine even though I'm pretty sure that the Grand Theft Auto universe and Silent Hill universe are not really related at all but you wouldn't know it by looking at this I mean next thing you know I'm gonna come up to like a stop sign and there's gonna be like a whole gaggle of those crazy nurse looking ladies that you know get all weird and contorted in those strange positions oh money yes I will take some of that money give me some of the floating green yeah. All right. See you later. We yeah, do that. Those those ladies are creepy. I'm not. I'm not down with whatever it is that they're selling. I think that they could probably use uh, maybe like some joint cream to, uh, you know, lube those up a little bit because it's fucking scary. <laughs> There's nothing about the way they contort their bodies and hold it at a totally static, you know, pose for for that long. It just makes me uncomfortable. All right, let's let's go. It's, by the way, shouts to these guys giving you that other that other mission first that re, that requires that you know where the airport is to be able to turn to go up the other way. I love it. <laughs> I actually kind of like this song right now. Can I get a witness? What the hell is this guy doing here? You got a problem with me slamming my taxi into a wall that should have opened but it didn't? That was a very repetitive song. I mean, I know that he must be extremely, extremely desperate that, you know, he is really looking for a witness. I mean, at that point, he is he will absolutely do anything to get a witness at that point. 
<laughs> Seriously, can I please get a witness here? Just one! I need somebody! Alright, here we go. I did not realize, I did not think this through before taking action. <laughs> I did not realize that this car was really this far away. But you know, Carl is getting some much needed exercise. I feel like he's been a little bit, uh, a little bit sedentary lately. And I think it's time that he, uh, wasn't like that anymore. Hey, here we go. <laughs> the only car in the entire garage with no, that's, that's parked. It's an ambush. The Donong boys are covering the exits. Oh, of course they are. All right, well, how do you propose that we do that, huh? If they're covering the exits, it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to get out of here. Or maybe it won't. Maybe it'll be a lot easier than that. Oh, fuck you guys, you know? Ha ha ha! Yeah, how about that? Yeah, you didn't think I'd be able to drive my little manana right through your little defense. Well, see you later. <laughs> that was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Oh, and these guys are everywhere. I just, I really hope they don't put down spike belts, dude. Spike belts are the, are not, are not the good idea with this. That's, that's not what I need. Once they pop the tires on this, man, my driving skills go right down the shitter. I got a feeling that I have not seen the rest of this yet. What, do I have to kill these guys, or do I have to just, I have to just stay away from them? <laughs> yeah, how about that? Oh. Come on, why would you give them an avenue to get right behind me again? Yeah, they're gonna catch up to me. There's a reason why they gave me this little crappy car, because they knew that no matter how far ahead of these guys you got, I mean, they're in crotch rockets, and they're gonna be able to catch you. Strangely, though, and not at a terrifyingly fast pace, I figured they'd be able to get up to me a lot quicker than they are. Whoop! Whoop! Come on! Come on, gotta shake them off. Shake them off like that Taylor Swift song that is surprisingly really catchy, actually. I've never been a huge fan of her music, but, like, I'm, like, strangely, and it's kind of like a guilty pleasure thing, it's actually starting to not bother me that much. Like, not to mention, I mean, she is really good looking, and she's just really good. Like, she is a good singer. It's just, like, for the longest time, I couldn't stand her, like, country music type of songs, because they were just really fucking awful. They were really not very good, but... Now that she's, like, expanding into, like, pop music, she's actually really not that bad. She actually is pretty good. So there's my there's my shameless plug for that, that, you know, oh boy. Oh, oh no, okay, all right. <laughs> Your efforts were foiled, even though you're seeing me go into this garage right now. There's apparently nothing you can do about it now. Oh, tight, we got a lot of money for that. Damn, I'm down with Woozy's missions, man. He's a big he's a big payer for this stuff. He really he really takes care of his of his uh, of his peeps. Let's go get some pizza. I think we I think we earned it, you know? Going to the airport, stealing a car, getting away from crazy Asian people. I think that we earned a slice of pizza. Or more. Actually, you know what? We'll get the buster. I think that's good right there. A, a big slice of flat pizza with some crazy cardboard fries and a a nice, a nice, lovely medium cup of sprunk. <laughs> Why not? At this point. Thanks a lot, guys. We're good. I got to take a second bite of that. He's lying to himself. He's like, mmm, my favorite. Thanks for bringing me here. What's that? Mmm. <laughs> I'm gonna take one of those fake bites that nobody knows. That way it'll look like I'm enjoying myself, but clearly I'm not. Okay. Let's go, uh, let's go buy, let's go buy Zero's joint. Um, I think we got just a, barely enough time for that, hopefully. Whoop! Oh, damn, we, like, flew into the window. Oh, no, no, no. Pick up the phone, Carl. Oh, he didn't pick up the phone! Damn it, Carl, I told you to pick up the phone. What the hell are you doing, son? So... I just, I just remembered something I was going to talk about earlier before we got locked up in that mission. So, I have a really weird kind of thing with people, and it's, I don't understand why people do it. And, uh, this is, this is gonna be like, it's actually gonna be the re-emergence of something that I haven't done in a little while here. But, welcome to another random spur-of-the-moment edition of Adam's Health Tips, where you learn shit whether you like it or not. Bing! With the ping noise. So, 
I had a lady that she came in today, and like I don't know why it is that people do it, but we we sell like we sell empty capsules to people that you know that feel the need that they're gonna you know make their own herbal formulas or whatever because they think that they're smarter than everybody else, I guess. But we had this lady that she came in, and I never I never understand why people do it. Like the only thing I can imagine. Oh, here we go. Let's let's pick this up real quick. Whoa! Oh, come on! Wait, she called me just to say pig? Why? Pig! Maybe she, like, butt-dialed me while she was in the middle of, uh... While she was in the middle of fucking Claude. Who knows? I don't know. I don't really care to know, because Catalina's fucking nuts, and I would really rather not deal with it. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go back to Woozy's place. Since, I guess, the whole mission there was just to buy the building. So, um... Yeah, so I don't really, like... For me, I've never really understood why it is that people you know, buy capsules to make their own formulas with. Like, that's the whole point of, P of like, all these companies whose products I sell in the first place. Like, their sole purpose is to do it so that you don't have to. Like, and they're professionals. They do it for a living. That's what they get paid for. Come on, Catalina, what do you want? Hello? Carl, it's Zero. Oh, okay. Oh, Z. You wasn't around when I signed the deeds. Yes, I know. I was on a dangerous reconnaissance mission. Deep into enemy territory. I don't like the way uh, that sounds. Yeah, right, sure, whatever you say. I should come through and have a look at the business, you know? Oh, of course, of course. I'll have to tidy up a bit. This place is such a mess. Don't worry about it. I'll drop in soon. Tight. Okay, now we can go see him. And we'll see what this is all about. As honored as I am to share my home with you, we should lure these lizards out into the baking sun. <laughs> We were followed here. Nothing like those uh, wireless PS uh, PS2 controllers, you know. Hey, what's the big deal? Won't you cruise on out of here, lead them to a place quiet, and cap they flat asses? No offense. None taken. <laughs> we find you funny. Look, long as they think Mr. Farley here is in the back, they'll follow me wherever. After a while, you can come out safely. Simple. <laughs> Amazing. Your success will be rewarded, Mr. Johnson. Good. That's what I'm down with. That's why I'm here, you know. I am here to get all the money that you're willing to throw at me because I know you've got it. Drive out to the countryside, huh? Alright, I'm down. <laughs> While listening to Slow Ride, I am absolutely doing the exact opposite of that. <laughs> I, I am not... I am not going to take a slow ride. So yeah, dude, this I, I just I never understood why people think that they need they feel the need to, you know, fill up their own capsules with stuff. Cause like you don't know how much you're putting in there unless you're like going the severe extra mile to go out and buy like a like a scale so you can weigh this stuff out before you put them in there. You don't know what the hell you're doing. Like so many of these people they're just like, oh well, I mean, how hard can it be? I just go buy some just go buy some stuff and just throw it in there, and then I'll just take some vague amount of <laughs> of formula that I created myself and hope to God that I'm doing it right. I just, I never figured that out. Like, this lady, and like, this, the way that this lady did it was so backwards. Like, so, she comes in and she, uh, she, she buys some empty caps. She's like, where do you keep your empty ones at? I want to make my own vitamins because it's too expensive to buy the other ones. Which, it's, that's totally a lie, by the way. It is way less expensive to just buy the pre-made ones, especially because they're already made at the amount that you're supposed to have. Like, they do that entire process for you. But this lady decided that, you know, she was going to be smarter than everybody else, so... So I let her, so I, so I took over there, and I was just showing them around to her. She said, okay, I'll, I'll, find, I'll find the ones that I need. And so I let her do it, and... She comes up to the counter a couple minutes later. By the way, where the hell are we going? I don't even know where the hell we're going right now. Oh, we're, okay, we're going all the way back to Angel Pine again. We're going back home, boys! Even though it's not really our home, but it's kind of our weird home away from home. <coughs> oh my god, I just swallowed some spit. <coughs> oh, that hurt. So, she comes back up to the counter, and she's got a bag, she's got like a box of like ginger tea. And it's just like, it's ginger root that they just put into like tea bags. Like, we're not talking like the loose leaf, like powder stuff. We're talking like, it's just the tea bags where it's got like, it, the stuff's been cut and sifted, so it's still 
Like, it's still, there's gonna be, like, chunks of stuff in there. And, uh, and so, I'm just sitting here looking at this, looking at her, like, what in the hell do you think you're doing? Because, like, you're gonna, you're gonna put those into capsules, and you're going to ingest those, and then the capsule's going to dissolve, and then you're just gonna have, like, a bunch of, like, ginger shards in your body. Just like, like, the actual herb. You're gonna have just, like, little bits and pieces of that. And it's gross. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, this isn't good. This is not good at all! Oh, damn, these guys totally... Oh! Oh, no, you don't. Yeah. Oh, you can't knock them off their bikes. Why the hell not? Alright, come on! Get your fort, bro! Go in gear, son! Good lord. But yeah, I just... I, I don't know. I've never understood why... Oh, no! Why it is that people feel the need to do that. Like, just buy the ones that companies are spending their you know, millions of dollars on to do for you so that you don't have to do it. Especially when, like, you don't know what you're doing. Like, if you're, if you're, like, you know, starting up your little, your own little home business and you know exactly what you're doing and you've got all the equipment to properly do it and you know the exact amounts that you should be using, then sure, why not, you know? That's, that's totally okay. But when you just have, like, some random, like, vigilante, like, mm, I'm gonna make my own vitamins because... I read one thing on the internet that says you can do that, and so I re I, I believe everything that everyone tells me. By the way, what happened to those guys? Like, I didn't really shake them off that well. Apparently I did, though. They're just like, eh, well, he's going out in the dark. We'll let him take care of it on his own. There's no possible way he can complete his mission. Oh, God. I, yeah, I just always thought that was kind of a weird thing that people do that. Is that that ghost car? I've heard about, like, ghost cars in this game. Ones that, like, control themselves. Oh, there they are! Oh, no, there's a ton of these guys now. What the hell was I doing? I got distracted by the by the allure of the ghost vehicle. Okay. Yeah, if I end up failing this mission, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame it on that car. It'll be the fault of that thing. Yeah, force them off the road for me. Thanks a lot, guys. I don't know who you are, but... I am forever in your debt. In your debit. Oh, my God. I wasn't paying attention to that. Oh! What are you do? How are you doing that? He's a warlock! He does not abide by our own... Our own physical limitations. I don't know if I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. This is a bad choice. I can already feel it in my bones. Okay, no, we're good. Never mind. And actually went over a lot better than I thought. Okay, we're good. Hey, we made it. I remember this place. <laughs> what was that little move? Was that just like dripping a three-pointer, dog? Are you okay? Yeah, it's nothing. They took the bait like morons. Mr. Rampai Lee, get out all right. Yes, Woody is taking up safety. Thank you. Cool. I'll see you later, man. Alright, where's our... Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, I made you follow me a really long way for nothing! Oh my god, another 8,000. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. Like, we've been doing... We've been doing missions for way too long that had no damn payout, so it's about time that people start giving me some damn cash for my services, you know? I mean, I feel like I've been doing a pretty... Uh, I've been doing a pretty, uh... A pretty solid job here. We actually went a really long way without actually going anywhere. <laughs> like, that entire little thing that we just went on with those bikes was only ended up being, like, a few hundred yards. <laughs> it was so stupid. We literally could have just gone around the corner and just gone to that little gas station. But I mean, I guess the entire point was to keep them occupied. Still, though. How annoying. Hey, Caesar. The Yay leaving San Fierro, right? Right, but they're using bikes, CJ, and they go cross country. Okay, well, I've already dealt with this before. Let's do. Let's see what happens if we do this negatively, because we've been doing positive the whole time. Not right now. I gotta check into some shit. Ah, okay. I see what's up. Alright, well, we're just gonna save right here. Thank God, by the way. 
I love I love when missions, you know, when you finish one and it dumps you off, like it finishes off and you're just like really close to a save point. I love when that happens. That way I don't have to spend like 15 minutes driving all the way across the fucking country just to go, you know, find a place to call it good. All right, my friends, well, we have found a place to stop for now as it is just a torrential downpour out here and we all know that Carl's just going to stand out here until, until everything's done and uh, he's probably going to get the flu, so I kind of feel bad for the man. But when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, we're going to go back and do some more of Woozy's missions because he's just, the guy's paying, man. It's tight. So with that said, my friends, I have some Taco Bell right here that has been patiently waiting to go into my stomach. I got some nachos and one of those sriracha burritos and a couple more burritos. And so I'm going to do that and catch up on some Better Call Saul and Ghost Adventures. So until then, my friends, this is AMF saying thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.